I recently did a review on some Sperry Gold Cup boat shoes. They're about $150 retail and they're very well made, but they are made overseas. Right now we're looking at some vintage made in the USA boat shoes. The ones I have on right there are LL Bean. They're made in Maine. And there were a few factories up there that made boat shoes. Now I understand it may be down to as few as one factory, Highland Shoe Company make some Sperry's. You can still buy some Sperry's made in the USA if you go to their website. You have to kind of hunt them out, but you can still find some. And they're usually in almost a $300 price range, anywhere from $250 up to like $350. There's several company brands that sell them, and I think most of them are made in the same factory. I could be wrong on that. I've, I've seen conflicting stories on how many factories are still making high-quality boat shoes in Maine, but I know at least one is. And these are Timberlands you can see here that I'm putting on. And almost all the early Timberlands were all made in Maine and very high quality. I really liked them. I had quite a few pairs. I'm down to, I think, four pairs now that are made in the USA. These I'm showing you right here are kind of unusual because of the way the sole wraps around and then is stitched on the side. You don't have the problem with them becoming unglued and coming loose, which I've had with some of my Timberlands where the soles are glued. To a, to a separate piece and they can come loose. So, and I, and I believe this sole can also be replaced if you find the right shoemaker to do it. And that's not easy to find anymore. This pair is a very rare pair of Timberlands and they were sold as waterproof. They were $150 back in the early 80s. So they were expensive even back then. And these are Norwegian Kempf leather. These have been resold. I'm not real happy with the sole that the gentleman put on them. It wasn't quite like the original, but he couldn't get the original. But um, these are a very comfortable pair of shoes, leather lined, and I believe they had Gore-Tex in between the two leathers so that that's what made them waterproof. And they're very hard to find, very rare. If you, if you ever find any of these shoes uh, at a yard sale, at a thrift store, whatever, that are your exact size, clean them up. You know, clean them up inside, clean them up outside, dress them with some leather. If they're in really good shape, and bring them, bring them back to life. It's worth it. These shoes are very hard to find, and they were well-made, super high-quality leather. Those folks in Maine know what they are doing. So let me know if you have any vintage boat shoes. Most of these were bought in the late 70s, early 80s, and I still have them. I still use them. Uh, fortunately, I bought a number of pairs so that I've been able to rotate them over the years and, and keep wearing them. Let me know what you wear. Thanks for watching.